1 Peter 1.13 says, Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, hope unto the end. And so Peter tells us something that every Jew in that culture would have understood. Because they wore long robes, if you needed to do some work or do something laborious, you would gird up your loins. And so the idea is, is you would pull the edges of your robe and you would tuck it into your belt and so that you can move around unhindered or unimpeded. Like remember the father in the parable of the prodigal son. He watched day in and day out for his son and then finally his son came down the path and it says that the father girded himself to run. Why? Because he didn't want to be hindered or impeded to do that. So he ran and he embraced his son. And so Peter says that we need to gird up the loins of our minds. And so pull those thoughts in, reel those thoughts in. Don't let anything of this culture or of this world really, really get in the way. And so he says, pull those thoughts in. Why? So that nothing stops us. Worry really impedes us. I mean, as believers, we're always telling people that we have a living hope, that Christ is coming back, and that we have this wonderful inheritance, but there are so many Christians that are walking around, chewing their fingernails, and they're worrying. Like, consider what Jesus said. He said, consider the sparrows that don't gather into barns. Why not? Because the Father takes care of them. Or consider the lilies of the field. Solomon, in all of his splendor, was not arrayed like those flowers. If God so cares for the lilies of the field that are here today and gone tomorrow, how much more does he care for you, O oh, you of little faith? Take no anxious thought. But what do we do? <laughs> we worry. And so here's the thing. Worry impedes you. And so Peter says, gird up the loins of your mind. Because worry interferes with what God would want to do through you in this world. I mean, this whole world is worried about stuff or fear, it impedes us. If we're driven by fear, we're held captive, we're shackled to it, it impedes us, or envy, or bitterness, or anything like that. And so Peter says, gird up the loins of your mind and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And so gird up the loins of your mind with that prevailing hope.